my video game collection. Mind you, this isn't everything. It truly isn't, but this is everything I have set up right now. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of shit. Um, mind you, this is a very small space. So everything is done in my bedroom in the quarter. <laughs> so where I spent much of my youth. Now, first off, let me show you the Nintendo stuff. Um, as much as I talk shit about Nintendo, um, obviously I do own Nintendo consoles. They may not be my favorite, but um, they do have some great games. And I've gained more respect for Nintendo over the years, especially now. Um, they're the only ones really making game consoles nowadays. Everyone else wants to make multimedia centers and shit like that. But the NES is actually a gift from a friend of mine, Heidi Schwartz. Um, this was her Nintendo. This is the Nintendo she would leave on for eight hours while she would go waitressing or shit like that because some games did not have a save feature. Um, this is my Super Nintendo, which has been modified so that it can play Super Nintendo, um, excuse me, Super Famicom games, which was fairly easy. You just take out two little pieces of plastic within the cartridge slot and boom, you're playing Super Famicom. Over here, my Atari 2600. Uh, this is a Hong Kong model, as well as a few games I have over here. Um, obviously, I play Breakout. Um, I do play Breakout quite a bit. I have the original Mario Brothers, as well as um, this is a cool game I really want to review at some point. Um, it's Tax Scan. It's a really cool shooter from Sega. Um, I just haven't had an opportunity to do one yet, so hopefully in the future. Um, some Nintendo games down there. Now, thanks to Heidi, I have all three Super Mario games. Uh, the two Zelda games, the uh, three Castlevanias, as well as Maniac Mansion, and later I bought the TMNT arcade game, as well as uh, the two Metal Gear titles, which is pretty badass. Now, the big stuff. All the Sega. All the Sega. All the Sega. My god, the Sega. Um, first off, there's my Sega CDX, which is um, awesome. It really is truly awesome. It works great. Um, obviously, I'm not a big fan of dusting, but yeah, the Sega CDX works great. Um, my 32X used to be hooked up to the CDX, but for whatever reason, it stopped working after a while. It works great with my Model 1 Genesis, but it just refuses to work on the CDX. I'm not sure why. Here I have all my loose 32X games because I don't have a shit ton of space, obviously. Doom, play that a lot. Oddly enough, I play that more than the Saturn version. Over here I have my Model 1 Sega Saturn with a 3D analog controller hooked up. I do have the Model 1 controller, but right now I'm using that with my Model 2 in the other room. Um, works great, perfect condition. Um, not even a scratch on the shell. Uh, I, For the longest time, the only Saturn I had was this Model 2 Japanese Saturn. But once I got Panzer Dragoon Saga, uh, it just refused to work. Um, because Panzer Dragoon Saga, the copy I have, is American. And it, Panzer Dragoon Saga, no matter what copy you have, hates cartridges. <laughs> for whatever fuck reason. Um, if I remember correctly, it had to do with um, the designers not wanting people to cheat, so there's a lockout. Um, there are codes that supposedly work, but everyone I tried refused, so I ended up buying a Model 2 Saturn. Later, I went to a thrift shop and found that somebody had hawked their uh, <laughs> Model 1 Saturn with a shitload of games, so I bought it. It was only 20 bucks. Can't complain. But really, my pride and joy is the Japanese Saturn. Um, it's unfortunate that it's a Model 2 because Model 2s are difficult when you're wanting to do disc swapping tricks. Um, you need a, a lot more finesse with a Model 2. But this one's pimped out. It has the 4-in-1 action replay cartridge. It also has a VCD card, which I'm very proud of. It's, it's 
badass. I do have some movies on VCD and I'll watch it on my Saturn if I go traveling. I typically take my Saturn because it is my favorite Sega console. Nice to have. Then I have this Dreamcast. I actually have two Dreamcasts, but my other one is really picky. Like some games, it just won't play properly unless I turn the fucking console upside down. That's really annoying. But thankfully, uh, one of our posters, uh, as well as contributors on SegaBits.com, Knuckles, sent me a Dreamcast, and this one works great. Um, uh, God, I hate that Rumble Pack. Now, that's something that really fucking pisses me off when I go on Amazon or eBay. Somebody will say, oh, no, it's an officially licensed product. No, it's a fucking third-party piece of Pelican shit, whatever the hell. Um, but yeah, that's my Dreamcast. Um, not my favorite Sega console, but... Um, it does have some of my favorite games. Uh, I'll go into my issues with the Dreamcast in a later video, but I am very happy to have a Dreamcast. Here I have a Model 1 Sega Genesis with my 6 button because since it has the 32X, um, there were a lot of games that actually utilized the 6 button to great effect, so it stays on this one. But uh, the Model 1 works great except for the reset button. The reset button does not work. I have yet to repair it, um, as well as my 32X. And my Model 1 Sega Master System with uh, Snail Maze. Snail Maze is the built-in game. Uh, this was a nice, nice purchase because it was roughly $30. Came with two controllers. I only have one hooked up right now, but came with two controllers and uh, the zapper, or the phaser, <laughs> and uh, came with three games. So, not a bad purchase. All the hookups, and the hookups are AV, which is really, really cool. Here are some of my loose Genesis games. These are uh, mostly EA, because they're weird shapes. Oh, Funny World and Balloon Boy. We all know how much I love that game. Oh, Universal Soldier, another favorite. Balls, fuck you, and Road Rash 2, that's an awesome game, that's a two-man scramble waiting to happen, and uh, NHL, <laughs> or NHL PA Hockey 93, that was something my brother and I used to play a lot when we were younger, virtual racing, that obnoxiously large cartridge, <sighs> okay, um, that's pretty much it for the consoles. Um, I would show you the Model 2 Saturn and shit, but that would mean going into another room and I'm too goddamn lazy. Uh, you know what? While I'm on consoles, may as well show my Game Gear collection. Um, this was my first Game Gear I bought from a guy nearby. He sold it along with this case and a shitload of games. Many of the games I got rid of because, you know, they were like sports titles and I don't care. <coughs> Pardon me. But uh, I later bought some of my own games. It also came with the uh, super wide gear. This thing actually comes in handy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, old batteries. But uh, let's see here. I have Batman Returns. Not bad. Castle of Illusion. Uh, Mickey's Castle of Illusion. A uh, bit different from the Genesis version. Uh, and Shinobi, which is radically different from the... Master System version. Uh, Streets of Rage. Um, it's annoying that uh, Adam's not in the game, but uh, it still plays like Streets of Rage, and it's fun to play, so I can't complain too much. Uh, Sonic 2. The game nobody fucking wants. I swear to God. Every time I see somebody selling a Game Gear, they're like, oh, well, if you buy the Game Gear, you have to take Sonic 2 off our hands. Like, this game is herpes you just can't get rid of it not that it's a bad game but it certainly doesn't i mean sonic 2 for game gear is nothing like sonic 2 for genesis so that's annoying um i'd much rather play you know, sonic the hedgehog chaos now that's a fun sonic game on game gear I, I really enjoy that one and uh virtual fighter animation um that's a weird one i really want to make a video about that that may clear up something here I would love to make a video about Game Gear, but 
um, I really want to get good footage and I've yet to make a mount where I can hook up the camera so that when I'm playing it, it's not going to shake a lot because that's annoying. I hate seeing that shit. And I've yet to find anyone that can really modify one of these things to play on a TV. So until that happens, no Game Gear reviews for a while. So Arena Maze of Death, this one actually came with the system when I bought it. Shaq Fu, I couldn't believe the guy had this. <laughs> um, not a terrible game. I think it's a little uh, overrated in how terrible it is. But uh, now this is a piece of shit. The movie was crap. I don't know how it got a game. Oh, Triple Trouble Sonic. Not bad, but not a favorite. I prefer Chaos. Uh, VR Troopers. Yeah, the Power Rangers that couldn't. Yeah. Oh, now the Game Gears. Um, aside from this one, this one works pretty well, but the screen is um, lacks a lot of detail. Um, I think the capacitors need to be replaced, but otherwise the screen's in great shape and uh, plays games just fine. But this one is actually, I believe, an original, but the screen is all scratched to hell and it refuses to work. Um, I think the, all the capacitors need to be replaced. Obviously, it's been scuffed up a bunch, but fuck it. I bought it for like 15 bucks. This one, I think this is the Majesco model. Um, the screen's not in great shape, but it's better than the last one. Um, that, I have no fucking idea how that happened, but whatever. Um, it's kind of weird. There's, obviously, these ones have color. This one doesn't. And so, um, the one upside to this, though... The screen is in great shape. I mean, when you play a game, it's really bright, has a lot of contrast and detail. So um, I think this is a newer one, but whatever. So that's my Game Gear collection. Now, on to games. Uh, well, over here, um, I have a few copies of Sega Visions. I would actually like to make a, a video about Sega Visions at some point, but I'm still trying to get a hold of more magazines. Um, these are a couple of loners here, um, six pack, that's Mickey Max. This is one of the reasons why I'll never loan him a fucking game. I mean, just look at that shit. And, you know, there, um, this is his copy of Sonic and Knuckles, and obviously it looks like crap. So, um, oh, and the one boxed copy of Sonic 2 for Game Gear, again, herpes, I tell you. And this was a loner from my girlfriend, Desert Demolition, Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote. Fun game and visually beautiful. Um, yeah, she's actually a, a Genesis fan. She has her own Genesis. Um, there's also some posters there that came with cartridges I'll leave out. These are all the games that won't fit on a fucking shelf. Oh, and my Game Genie. Um, I have yet to really use it. Uh, back here, I have an arcade stick for the Master System. Oh, and a Nintendo 64 controller. I know, blasphemy. And there's a... Uh, an adapter so I can put uh, play Master System games on my Game Gear, so that's pretty cool. That's a dead Saturn controller that I harvested for parts, so it's just sitting in the bag. Um, the box for my Japanese Saturn, obviously. Pretty box. It's amazing to me. I bought that thing. It was in pristine shape for 50 bucks. So, yeah, I, that's why it's, that's one of the reasons it's my pride and joy. Also, um, my two Sega CD 32X games. <sighs> Some loose Master System games. What the fuck? Uh, Zaxxon 3D, Alien Syndrome. Um, those are um, Alien Syndrome's a repeater. Um, Hang on, Safari Hunt, Afterburner. Those are the ones that came with the console. Um, I don't like the condition that they're in, so um, I bought other ones. <laughs> so, yeah, me being a picky bastard. Um, some of my Master System card games, Ghost, Ghost House, which I've already done a video on, as well as uh, Spy Hunter, Rockin'. Um, unfortunately, neither one of them has their instructions. That's annoying. Uh, Ghostbusters, I've already done a review for that one, yay. As well as uh, Rambo. Yeah, Rambo. Rambo. Forgive me. Uh, look over there. <sighs> and, this one, I picked this up at Too Many Games. Uh, Dead Angle, it's actually a, 
a rail shooter of sorts. It's very similar to uh, Punisher for NES. Not as bloody or ridiculous, but it's damned fun. I like it a lot. I can't wait to review that one. Um, Shinobi, this is one of my favorite games for the Master System, something I used to play with my brother a lot. And R-Type, damn good shooter, but frustrating as all hell. And Outrun, I play that a lot actually, it's a good game, my brother had that too. Fantasy Zone, another one my brother and I used to play. I've done a video for that one, obviously. Still in good shape. Double Dragon, I'm still trying to convince my girlfriend to play this with me. And, let's see here. Ah, Altered Beast, which is a piece of shit on Master System. I fucking hate it. It's sluggish and the controls suck. And Alien Syndrome, still a fun game. A far cry from the arcade, but still a fun port. And Afterburner. Yeah, no collections complete, you know, unless you have Afterburner. And then we have, oh, right there, that's my 32X box. Yeah, I actually got a 32X in the box. It's pretty sweet. Forgive me as I put shit away. I get a little OCD sometimes. Uh, yeah, there, yeah. This actually drives my girlfriend nuts. Her OCD likes everything lined up. I like to fan everything out. Explain that one. Oh, and here are all of the Genesis games. Pretty much all of them. Uh, let's see here. Here we have Biohazard Battle, one of my favorite shooters for the Genesis. Uh, we have some Butthead, Batman Forever. Um, that's the one missing from my Batman reviews, but uh, I'm still waiting to get Batman Forever for the Saturn. Batman Returns, I've reviewed you, as well as Batman. Um, Alien Storm, that's a fun game. Air Diver, irritating but pretty. <laughs> Afterburner 2, uh, yeah, it still makes me laugh. I have Afterburner 1 for 32X, but then I have Afterburner 2 for Genesis. It's kind of like having Virtua Fighter on 32X and having Virtua Fighter 2 on Genesis. What sense does that make? Goals and Ghosts, fun, expensive, and a pain in the ass. Ghostbusters, oh yeah, I've reviewed you. You're coming up. And Flashback, one of my favorites. Fighting Masters, piece of shit. Dick Tracy, I'll review you. This is this is really a fun game. It was actually made by the same team, if I remember correctly, that worked on Shinobi, so that's kind of cool. Demolition Man, um, that's still a fun game. I like it, I don't care what anybody says. Clue, that's just bizarre. I'm gonna play this with Eric at some point. Chase HQ, fun little port. Um, I love the cover. Look how colorful that is. Love that shit. Okay. Red Zone, technically impressive, but one of the most irritating fucking games to play ever. Um, Rambo 3, another good one. Uh -huh, out of this world. Um, flashback, but more frustrating. <laughs> Midnight Resistance, that's a fun arcade one. I like that one. Mercs, not bad. And then Maze and Saga Mutant Fighter. Now I've actually reviewed this game. The video is still on my old channel, but um, I hate that review. I actually hate it more than the Technocop review, but uh, it doesn't have the prestige of being like my first review. So I'm, I intend to re-review that one. Yeah, get back in there. Judge Dredd, eh. The Immortal. Now this, oh, I'm working my way up to you. Streets of Rage 2. This is kind of sad. I want to have the entire trilogy in the box, but so far I've only been able to get part one. Kind of a bummer. Star Trek, yeah, I'm a Star Trek nerd. Well, which is pretty obvious, I'm sure, but I love that game. Good game. Um, this is kind of a pride and joy right here. Sonic, one, two, three, and Knuckles. All complete. Each game has its instructions. The cartridges themselves are in fantastic shape. And so are the instructions. Well, I think the instructions for part three are actually kind of crappy, but whatever. This one was still sealed and I opened it. I'm sure that pisses off some people, but you don't spend 50 bucks on a game and not play it. It's kind of like people that get upset with me when I tell them I bought Tool's uh, Anima album, which was still sealed, $200. I opened it. That's right, because you don't spend $200 on a record and not listen to it. Otherwise, you're an asshole. So, Shadowrun. I want to review that, but goddamn, it's it's an RPG, so it's going to take forever. 
Scooby-Doo, this is actually a recent pickup. I played this way back when, and uh, I've been playing it again for an eventual review. Good fucking game, I love that. I'm surprised because it's from Acclaim. All right, Virtua, oh, what, skipped one. Virtua Fighter 2, um, I intend to give that game a good review eventually. Um, not just a brief mention, uh, Vector Man, <laughs> um, still a damn fun game. Get in there. Um, True Lies, um, everyone knows how I feel about that one. Toe Jam and Earl, good but overrated. Yeah, let the hate mail fly. Uh, the Terminator, yeah, done you as well. Get back in there, bitch. Now this one makes me sad. Here, I got rid of the game. I sent it to fucking England. That's how much I hated it. Sorry, Liam. But this was like two bucks. And I felt kind of nostalgic. I'm like, oh, well, uh, how can I go wrong? I mean, I still love the box. It's, it's cool. I just wish the game lived up to that cover. Seriously. Oh, boy. And Super Thunder Blade. That's a damn fun game. I mean, there's so many ports of it. It's been everywhere, but... I wanted one that I can play on a Righteous Jenny. Uh, and Super Street Fighter 2. Yeah, that's just one of the first games I bought when I started getting back into collecting. Uh, still have that one. These are all the Genesis games that uh, I'm not, either I'm not particularly fond of or they're oddly shaped. Like, these are all the, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're any sort of gamer, you're already familiar with Hard Driving and Pit Fighter and Steel Talons, and all three are shit. I will say that now. Shove it, that's a weird puzzle game. General Chaos. Now this is a request that's come up a lot, of, a lot, and I just haven't been able to do it yet. Since my buddy Brandon, uh, my technical assistant in the Air Force, I hope to do a two-man scramble with him on this one. Uh, Zero Tolerance. I've gotten so much flack for my negative review for that fucking game. It's not even funny. Toxic Crusaders. Ugh. Slaughter Sport. Piece of shit. Paint Goes to Hollywood. Pretty, but ultimately crappy. Time Killers. Lauren and I killed brain cells with this piece of shit, let me tell you. Wiz and Liz. Um, technically impressive, but uh, I will review that one eventually. Wolverine. Piece of shit. Um, Art Alive. Interesting, but ultimately, it's not terribly entertaining. After 15, 20 minutes, it's like playing on a really shitty paint program. F-22 Interceptor, Electronic Arts, my brother used to play that a lot. Last Battle, piece of shit. Alien 3, not bad. Wolf Child, I want to review you, but I want the Sega CD one for comparison's sake. Combat Cars, Twisted Metal, but shitty. Um, T2 Arcade. Woof. Okay, and oh, there's my VMU, which actually has a little chain on it. That way I can wear it like bling. Woohoo. These are all my loose Genesis games. Yeah, I have Cliffhanger. That's a piece of shit. Comic Zone. Awesome. Jam it. Laughable. Jurassic Park. Castlevania hard, but fun. Lost World. A mixed bag. Power Rangers, we all know. Mutant, Chronicles, Doom Troopers, eh, whatever. NBA Jam, that's fun. That's fun. And Sonic 3D Blast, um, a lot of people hate it, but I enjoy it. Sonic Spinball, hard as hell, but I, I do love it. Space Harrier 2, uh, Hyperstone Heist, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Final Zone. Yeah, that one's... I typically don't buy games like this, but... Well, where they're all like fucked up and everything, but whatever. <laughs> it's a good game, so I wanted it. Oh boy, and here are all my Japanese Saturn games. Now, um, Dracula X, Nocturne in the Moonlight, Biohazard, Dynamite Deca, Elevator Action 2, the return, or no, Elevator Action 2 Returns. That is a fun fucking game. I, I really want to review that one soon. Fighters Mega Mix. Uh, I've unlocked almost every character now, and uh, Groove on Fight. That's a video coming up soon. Uh, Marvel Superheroes. Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter. That's great fun. Uh, Metal Slug. I love that game. I play that a lot. Uh, Knights. Uh, 
um, mixed feelings, but ultimately it's a good game. It's just that it's not as good as it could have been, I feel. And uh, Real Bad Special, that one's pretty good. Uh, Samurai Showdown, um, yeah. Amakusa's Revenge, yeah, that was right. Okay. Get you back in there, bitch. Okay, thank you. And Sega Rally, Oof. Sonic Jam, oh. Street Fighter Zero. Um, sadly, I used to have Street Fighter Zero three at one point. It cost like 150 bucks, and I stupidly traded it. Virtual Cop, Virtual Cop Two, Virtual Fighter Remix. I will review you at some point, and Virtual Racing. Everybody knows how much I hate that fucking version. Oh boy, now Sega CD. Um, also, codes. <laughs> yeah, I have one of those. Barry did a fantastic job with that, I feel. It's just pretty as hell. Put you over there. And Soul Feast. Nah, I'd like to do a video about shooters at some point. I have enough of them. Jesus. Um, this is the kind of package my brother and I got when he purchased the Sega CD back in the day. That's the exact same collection he had, Streets of Rage, Revenge of Shinobi, Columns, Golden Axe, and also the weird CD plus G uh, rock paintings. Um, this is a sampler disc that came with it. Um, not bad. Oh, and also uh, Sherlock Holmes. I really want to review that game at some point. Uh, let's see here. Kinds of shit. No. Uh, this is pretty much all of my... Sega CD games right here. Batman Returns, Battle Core, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, that's really weird. Cliffhanger, piece of shit. Demolition Man, awesome. Double Switch, fuck you, Corey Aim. Flashback, um, I'm gonna do an update for my flashback video now that this one, uh, I actually got the disc. Jurassic Park, um, this was a donation, which I have yet to review because the disc doesn't work, which is frustrating. And, Kids on site. This was a recommendation from uh, somebody who had gone to my first panel. I forget her name now. It kind of pisses me off, but she said it was like uber shitty. And after playing it, I totally agree. <laughs> um, Prince of Persia. I words cannot express just how much I hate this fucking game. Rise of the Dragon. One of my favorites. Sylphie. Good. Good fun. Sonic CD. Probably my favorite Sonic game. Soul Star, I love the shit out of that game. Rubble Salt, well, we all know how I feel. Terminator, awesome. Thunderstrike, this is a really good game. I can't wait to review that one. Wing Commander, yet to play it, but I own it. Wirehead, Mickey Mac. The bane of his fucking existence. This, this is his hell right here, and I own it. It sits proudly on my shelf. Oh boy, all my 32X games, most of them, I think all of them have their instructions. Um, it kills me now because I bought this brand new. It's one of my favorite 32X games. It was brand new, still wrapped. It was two bucks nowadays. It goes for more, which is, you know, you know it, 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 that's fair. I mean, it's worth more, I feel. Same with this one. This one was $2 brand new, but uh, now it goes for a little more. That I'm kind of happy to see that. This was weird. The guy said it was a, the original box, but that's clearly not the case. I never saw a copy of Mortal Kombat 2 back in 95 that came in a clamshell. I think that's horse shit. So, oh boy, now we're getting to the nitty gritty. Uh, oh boy. Arcade's Greatest Hits, Alien Trilogy. This one pisses me off because this is Astle. Um, the game doesn't piss me off. It's the, it's the, nothing's on the side. Who would, who would print something like that where the title's not on the goddamn spine? I mean, fucking idiots, I swear. You know, obviously the guy I bought it from tried to write his own, but fuck that noise. Uh, The Crow City of Angels, easily the worst game I've played on Sega Saturn. Um, D, good, Die Hard Arcade, Die Hard Trilogy, Doom. Enemy Zero, yes, I do intend to review that at some point, but I want to kind of get good at it. Otherwise, I don't feel it would be a tremendously fair review. Um, 
Fighting Vipers Galactic Attack. Now that's another good game. Love that one. I actually spent a fair amount. That was $40. Good game though. It was worth it. Good shooter. High Octane mm, Loaded. I saw this for everything back in the day. Max TT. Need for Speed. That was one of my brother's favorite racing series. Obviously, my pride and joy for the Saturn. Panzer Dragoons 1, 2, and Saga, which I now keep in a protective case. Love that game. I'd kill for that game. Hell, I have killed for that game. And Quake, still my favorite first-person shooter, partially because the soundtrack is Nine Inch Nails. That's sexy. And Revolution X. This is a game I'm going to make my girlfriend play. She never heard of it, and she's a huge Aerosmith fan. So she's definitely going to suffer through that piece of shit, let me tell you. Uh, an American Sega Rally. Shinobi Legions. This will be in an upcoming video. So, uh, some Space Jam. Fuck. Yeah, Space Jam. What the hell? And Tomb Raider. That's one of my mom's favorites. Um, actually, I've grown to appreciate it more over the years, and quite honestly, I still think it's the only good Tomb Raider game. So, Virtual On, Wing Arms. This is my old three pack. This is actually one of the few things that survived the fire. Unfortunately, not all of the. It's not intact. I mean, they, I have all the games, but. Uh, and Virtual Fighter. I bought this just to review it. These are the games that didn't make the cut. Corpse Killer, which, as I mentioned in the video, um, doesn't work. I even had the disc cleaned and still didn't want to work. And this is Myst, um, easily one of the most overrated point-and-click adventures ever made. <laughs> so, fuck that game. Not gonna review that anytime soon. Let me show you my last bit of gaming here. Um, I mean, I do have a bunch of, like, plastic containers under there containing extra shit, but uh, that would take forever. Uh, these are all my PS1 games that are loose. Yeah, I was a huge Resident Evil nut. My Resident Evil Director's Cut. Um, I still have the Resident Evil 2 demo that came with the first Resident Evil Director's Cut. That's it right there. Hooray. Resident Evil Survivor, what a piece of shit that was. Twisted Metal games. Um, what few Japanese PS1 games I have, because I do have a Japanese PS2. I just haven't hooked it up yet. I haven't I don't really touch my PlayStation games as much as I used to. Um I did all of this. Um I bought all these games brand new. I still have all the instructions and shit. It's just that when I was moving, I just couldn't keep them in the cases. They eat up too much goddamn space. But no. There's selfie for PS2. I think it's a sequel. Uh, here's my loose Sega CD games. These ones do not have cases at all. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, my paint. My paint does not work either, which is a real shame. Sewer Shark, I use that a lot in No Limits. Who Shot Johnny Rock, um, I'd like to review it, but it's scratched up, so it skips a lot. It's kind of annoying. And uh, Willie Beamish. And uh, this is uh, from a really cool guy, he's a fan. Um, these two bootleg discs here are actually Snatcher. One doesn't work at all. And uh, one will cut out after the first uh, chapter, which is a real shame, but I do hope to review that one day. Daytona USA, um, F1 Challenge, Offworld Interceptor. That is such a weird fucking game. I gotta review that one eventually. SimCity 2000, I won't play it because goddamn does it consume a lot of memory. Tetris Plus, which is good. Virtual Cop and Virtual Fighter 2, those were the ones from the package. World Series Baseball. Oh, boy. Oh, and two loose games. Um, obviously, I have Biohazard in a case. This was uh, the first one I bought. First ever import I bought, along with uh, Deep Fear. And House of the Dead, which I've reviewed. Um, the games behind the instructions. These are all my Dreamcast games. Unfortunately, all the cases went up in the fire because I left them behind, but I took the games with me and left the console too, so that one went up in the fire. That was a shame. But these were um, 
Crazy Taxi and House of the Dead 2. Those were the first games I bought for the Dreamcast. Good shit. And uh, Code Veronica is still the only way to play Code Veronica, in my opinion, on Dreamcast. The Sega Smash Pack. Shenmue. This still kills me. The case, is, the case went up in the fire. It's just... Ugh. I hate that fire. Sonic Adventure. Probably my second favorite Sonic game. Spawn. I really want to review that eventually. Rainbow Six, Virtua Fighter 3, Team Battle. Um, these are my uh, loose Japanese games. Um, they're loose now because, again, cases, fire. And that's pretty much it for Sega games. I mean, I could dig out the controllers and the closet because, like, I have the flight stick and all that shit for the Saturn, as well as an arcade stick for the Jenny. Um, a bunch of extra controllers I bought in lots, and I just keep them, but... Otherwise, this is everything. So, this is where all the magic happens, where I play my video games, record my footage, that's my DVD-R right there, and uh, write my reviews. I also write scripts here, like I'll typically throw on a record, and write here, and nowadays my girlfriend has joined me in that process, so it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, this is my world. It may be small, but it's mine, and, you know, just looking at everything in the viewfinder now, it's weird to think that all of this shit has been amassed over the course of three years. It's just shocking to me. <laughs> Very little survived the fire, um, except for those few items I mentioned. So, this is... wow. <laughs> um... It's not a big collection. It really isn't. I've seen people with much, much larger, but I feel I have some really cool choice gems and uh, a lot of fun games. And, you know, I love, I love the hunt of finding games. I was, I had gotten into the habit of buying a lot of games on like Amazon and you know, eBay, but nothing's better than going to places like East Starland or Next Level Video Games and you know hunting them down it's it's like hunting for treasure <laughs> you know even the crappy games well maybe not so much the crappy games i mean the crappy games can go fuck themselves it kills me because i'm a collector i can't get rid of them now i'm a collector that's one of the pains of being a collector i feel even the shitty games you know you feel you have to keep because you collect it now you collect like, I collect Genesis, so I can't get rid of Universal Soldier as much as I would say, you know what, fuck this, give me 25 cents, it would be better than having that game on my shelf, but... Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour. I shall see you later!